Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, my name is BTD. Now today what I'm going to be talking about is my gaming setup that I use for YouTube and gaming in general. So some of you might know if you've been around the channel quite a long time, I am a big Razer fan. So I thought it would be best off if we start off with that. I have a Razer Lycosa. I'm not sure if that is the right uh, pronunciation for it, because I know Razer, they use some really really messed up words, but that is my keyboard, it lights up blue. And it is a mechanical keyboard, so like when you're playing, I don't know, Fortnite for example, uh, it makes everything a little bit more easier to click and um, yeah, it just is a really, really awesome keyboard. I've had it for about three years now and it has not let me down a single time. Moving on to the mouse next, and this is this is the best part. I have a Razer Naga. It lights up green and it is used for gaming as well. You can use it as a normal uh, gaming mouse. Uh, the good thing about this mouse is the fact that you have all the support needed for your other index, fin index fingers and all your buttons on the side for your thumb, which I think is really cool for games like Minecraft and, you know, cool combat games and FPS games. Uh, the next thing I thought I would add into this list would be the capture software I use. Now, I use an Elgato HD60. Now, I'll leave all the links to everything I mention in the description down below. And it is probably one of the best things I've bought in a while. I had a HD PVR, which every, if you were back in the day of YouTube, everybody had HD PVR for their gameplay. Now that it was all, it was alright, but it, you can only record. Uh, I think it was the only the Xbox you could really record. And with the Elgato, you can record over multiple platforms, which I think is really, really, really cool. Uh, the next thing I mentioned is my microphone that I'm actually talking off now. That is a Blue Yeti microphone. Now, this is probably one of the best microphones I've ever had, and it looks very, very professional as well. Now, but the cool thing about this microphone is that you can... It comes as a standard with a microphone stand, but it can also come if, as an optional extra with a dongle to make like a portable microphone up, or like up above you which I think is really really cool now on the back of the microphone you've got multiple selections in where you want your voice to be heard from through the microphone which I think is really really cool for if you're doing interviews maybe or like I am doing now like a commentary video one of the last things I want to talk about is my computer now if you look in the description I've had this for many of my videos now is um, my specs and everything for my computer. I'm not really going to go into much detail on what my specs are because you can just read up on them and I'm not really that big up on uh, like all the specs and things like that but it is a HP Phoenix. Now I got this computer a good five years ago and I've never had to replace anything with it and I've left it as it is now and I believe it has a Razer graphics card in it so you can sort of tell I'm sort of a, a Razer fanboy which is not a bad thing at all because their products are mint. And this computer can run uh, anything from Grand Theft Auto on high settings to, like I play Euro Truck on really high settings and it just never lags at all. Maybe unless you're like recording maybe, but that's just, that's gonna happen with a computer, isn't it? It's just, it's gonna lag like that. But it's, to me, it's a really, really good computer and I recommend it to all of you out there that's trying to get started with a really good gaming computer. The last thing I wanna talk about is the monitor I use to play and record off. Now I use a Samsung 25 inch HD monitor. Now we might be thinking, well, what's the difference between a TV and a monitor? A TV is more used for like watching off, but with a monitor, it sort of tries to keep all of your pixels and everything all in one condition, which I think is really, really good if you're up for gaming. So I'd highly recommend if you are looking for a good products is to actually go for a monitor, like something small and not too small, but quite big that can be used for like gaming and everything like that. Now I know there's probably other things you guys want me to cover, maybe like an actual um, in-depth review, like I can vlog it if you want me to. But I just thought for now I'll just list off all the things I use at the minute. I'm wishing to upgrade a lot of things on here and like improve it. But with your guys' help that can happen, I have a donations link down in the description. If you guys want to click on that, you can help donate and maybe we can upgrade, like get some webcams go and make the streams and the videos a lot more cool and interesting so I'd really like to do that but if you do want to see a maybe like a setup video like a proper uh, vlog style then let me know in the comments I hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you did hit that subscribe button as we're on our way to 150 subscribers I'll see you guys in my next video peace